Tour Australia. No rules, just flight. Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome in. Good to see you. Andy, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, <laughs> it's funny how Twitch does things. Like, I just noticed King Cobra 74 followed me an hour ago. Like, what? King Cobra's been a follower a long time. I don't know. Twitch is just weird sometimes. Welcome in, everybody. How are you? <laughs> hey, Sky Command. What's up, dude? Fort Noob, how are you? Uh, welcome to, um, wow, I just, today, like, I've got a super bad cold, so if I sound stuffy, if I just don't sound like myself, um, I'm just gonna apologize, even though I can't help that I've got a cold. Uh, slept almost all day long, I feel, I feel like crap, but I wanted to stream. So, uh, welcome in, everybody, let me scroll, what was that? Let me scroll up to the top. And welcome everybody in. Infinite Fireman, welcome in. First in chat, as always, almost always. Welcome in, Infinite Fireman. Good to see you. Super Typhon, welcome in. Also, good to see you, my friend, as well. Uh, Twitchy Rich, good to see you, Twitchy. Uh, Andy, again, welcome and thank you for the follow. I hope you find my stream to be everything that you look for in a stream. If there's something that you feel I can improve on, um, I've got thick skin, so don't, don't worry about giving me uh, suggestions. On how I can improve things. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oz Nomad, our uh, vocal tour guide. And Oz, um, if you can, if you'd like to jump in voice, feel free to go ahead and do so. Uh, let's see here. Who else is here? Joe Sosa is here. Sky Command is here. Sky Command is another Flight Sim streamer. Awesome guy. Oh, you were in Houston planning for Flight Sim Expo? What? Sky Command is a very fun, uh, very, um, wow, energetic flight sim streamer. Great guy. Go check him out. Give him a follow. Let me give, uh, let me give him a shout out really quick. Dragon Oz into voice. There we go. Uh, so Sky Command, where's Sky Command? Where is, there he is right there. Uh, and again, I, I love shouting people out. So if I fail to shout you out, it's not that I have anything against you or that I mean to not shout you out it's just that so many people i have a hard time remembering az bubba how are you doing fort noob is here also what's up fort noob good to see you as well oh let's see here crowbar is here what's up crowbar good to see you also welcome in yeah i feel like i will feel better streaming for sure uh so we'll see we'll see um mom Barry, how are you doing good to see you stuffy tam for sure zero tadpole is here also what's up Thank you. Oh, you've been watching. Thank you. Thank you, Andy, for uh, watching. Fire Sandy is here also. Um, oh, Sky Command, your company is in charge of the technology? Dude. Like, what do you do? Do you do, um, do you do audio video or do you do like the IT end of things, Sky Command? Just curious. That's really interesting. Chronico, what's up, Chronico? How are you doing? Good to see you also. Uh, I'll be flying the 172 at about 95 knots. Oh, man. I am hot. Let me turn this fan on. All right. I think that covers everybody. If I forgot to uh, shout somebody out or if I forgot to... Uh-oh. If I forgot to... There we go. Is that better, Oz? I forgot. If I forgot to shout anybody out or I forgot to welcome anybody, please forgive me. Um, it is not intentional. So, let me show y'all something that just... It had me laughing yep. when I first got yeah, into. Is that good now, Oz? Yeah, that seems better. You can hear me okay? Oh, yeah, I hear you very well. Five by five. No props. Okay, that's great. Awesome. So, um, Andy, I do have Oz Nomad in voice. And the only reason for that is he's our vocal tour guide. He lives in Australia and he's kind of our tour guide. Other than that, I find Discord chat to be very. Um, distracting for me i love to focus on my chat here um, on twitch so that's why um i have oz but no one else uh viper strike good to see you man how are you uh, viper strike is another awesome flight sim streamer does some really cool stuff on his channel uh dude that's awesome sky command i didn't realize that i do some audio video stuff myself um, very, very cool. 
Paradox, how are you, my friend? Paradox is another streamer friend. Uh, good to see you, Paradox. And again, forgive me if I just don't sound like myself tonight because I don't feel like myself. But let me show you this this really quick though. I logged in. Is it art? Is it still there? Hang on. I might just go to the. Yeah, it's still. Nah, okay. Let me show you this. So I logged in to um, Flight Sim an hour and a half ago, and right before I started stream, let me show you what I saw. Hang on. I'm gonna have to switch to the PC scene. Hang on a minute. Is this gonna work? What? It's not working. Hang on. Work with me, computer. Work with me. Dang it. There, check this out. Best bros. <laughs> Two planes with our wings around each other. <laughs> what a way to start the stream. If that's not brotherhood, what is? I just thought that was hilarious. <laughs> and uh, by the way, that's Crunch. So Crunch, thank you for the hug, man. That makes me feel a whole lot better. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> okay, let me catch up on chat again really quick. Thank you, Sky Command. Hey, Swan, how are you doing? Good to see you. EPRO Enthusiast is um, who I call Swan. Uh, she's a longtime member of the community here, a longtime friend. Um, so anyway, welcome everybody. It really does make me feel better when I stream. Although I feel, oh, I do feel rough. But thank you everybody for being here. If I do end stream early, um, it's because I don't feel good. But I, I have a feeling I should be able to make it through to the end tonight. All right. Um, flight plan really quick. And then I'll let Oz tell us what we're gonna what we're gonna see. Oh, it looks like a transporter. Yeah, Ori. So it's something new that they started with uh, Sim Update 10, where planes don't disappear when they're close to each other. And I like that option. So I, I changed it to where they don't disappear. So tonight's flight plan is gonna take us back over to the ocean. Um, and I'll let Oz kind of explain what we're gonna see today. Um, I'm sorry to report, not a lot today. <laughs> this is one of the slightly less interesting uh, 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 flights, um, basically because we need to get back to the coast to continue up there. Um, but uh, this will confirm uh, what everybody in the world believes, that uh, Australia is extremely flat and boring. But uh, we will be flying across some uh, uh, open-cut coal mines. Um, there's a little bit of uh, valley flying towards the end before we hit the coast. Uh, and then we'll be having a look at um, the, the sort of coal loading depot uh, on the coast there uh, and uh, a look at the central business district of Mackay, which is our final destination for today. Awesome. But a lot of scrub and flat bush in the meantime, I'm afraid. <laughs> so I'll be fairly quiet this time. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Uncle B, thank you so much for, the, for continuing the sub that you got from Coal Fork. I really, really do appreciate that. Uncle B Sim Channel. Is another flight sim uh, streamer on Twitch. Great, great guy. Very engaging. Uh, very kind individual. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, let's get this uh, checklist knocked out so we can get in the air. That's what we want to do is fly, right? All right. So I've got parking brake set. Fuel selector valve is on both. Fuel shutoff valve is on the in position. We're going to put throttle a quarter inch. Mixture to idle cutoff. Flip the master. And the alternator on put the beacon on uh fuel pump let's take a look at our fuel flow i like to show this because this is pretty interesting to me as a uh, as a former technician fuel flow is right here this is the gauge for fuel flow i'm gonna flip the fuel pump on nothing yet but once i go full rich you'll see that needle just barely move oh that's okay chronico i just uh i really really feel it uh, I feel it very important to stick to a schedule, uh, both to growing a stream and um, just engaging with you guys. So yeah, I mean, I didn't want to miss tonight. So here I am. All right, bring it back down, turn the fuel pump off. Hey, Lolad, what's up? No, you didn't wake me up earlier. Oh no, Lolad, like what I had done earlier, I had, um, I had started flight sim and then I just walked away from it. So no, I went and ate and did some other stuff. So no, you didn't wake me up. I'm sorry. I was not active. 
All right, make sure I don't cut off, fuel pump off, ignition start, and then both. Okay, here we go. Let's get this plane started. Oh, you did a Mach 1 pass over me? What were you flying? Uh, the F-18? <laughs> right over the trees. Cool. Oh, no, Fire Sandy, you can't log in? Uh, no, my game is not offline. I've got a lot of other people in here. Uh, Infidel Fireman, I'm going to see how far it'll go before it just dies. I saw your message earlier, but I just want to test the limits. I'm that, yes, I'm that type of person. I'm a limit tester. <laughs> so I want to see what's going to happen. Planet Neutral, welcome in. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Oh, welcome in. Planet Neutral is another flight sim streamer. Great guy as well. Go give him a follow. Um, all right, let's see here. So we're rich. 1,200 RPM. I'm a little past 12. Navigation lights. Let's flip some lights on. Then we'll turn our nav on. <laughs> yeah, I am fiddle fireman. Some vehicles, it does change itself depending on how much oil it uses. This one, not so much. Let's see what the METAR shows, if anything. YFWD. So I'm curious about the uh, I'm curious about the barometric pressure here too. Nothing, so I'm just gonna do the old cheat for the barometric pressure and hit the B. All right, looks like uh, everything should be set, and I like to keep this on just so I can see how low on oil I'm getting. So six and a half quarts of oil, still got some oil. And if I'm running rich or, not, or too rich and fouling my plugs. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me jump outside the plane, check my flight controls. Then I promise you we'll be in the air. Full right aileron, full left aileron. We're good there. Not hitting the mic. That's the main thing I'm concerned with. Full down elevator, full up. And then rudder left, right. And last but not least, a little flappage. Flaps be flapping. Watching TV with the wife now. Oh, no problem at all, man. Thank you, low lead. I appreciate it. Uh, Lowled is uh, lives fairly close to me. One of these days we'll meet up, Lowled. All right, back into the plane I go. And if y'all are ready, um, since let's see here, the winds are blowing directly the way I'm heading, so that's perfect. Or blowing into my face, I should say, not blowing the way that I'm heading. They're blowing. I've got a headwind. How about that? Once we take off, to our right will be um, Lake Galilee. I was going to say the Sea of Galilee, but not the Sea of Galilee, but Lake Galilee. Thanks, so. Tom. All right, here we go. Let's go. You feel important, Pardon? Said you feel important, Not really, not. Sure you do. Oh yeah, we're on US East server, by the way. All right, and we are up in the air. Uh, Oz, so Chronico is asking, is 23 degrees Celsius somewhat cool for this area of Australia? And a super typhoon, I have not. Wow, got a nice crowd of people flying us along with us. And as always, anyone that would like to fly along, feel free to jump in and fly. Fly what you want to and fly how you want to. Sorry, I was busy taking off there. Um, I'd say that that temperature, it, it's not super cool. But, you know, 23 is still nice, um, but it, it, it is variable here. Uh, it will get much hotter than that as we go into the summer months uh, up here and much, much more humid too. Okay. 
Oz, I actually forgot about that. Um, and I'm... Well, I'm not too far away to make a pattern. So I'm going to make a right pattern. Uh, just to let everyone catch up who may still be on the ground. Sorry about that. I usually do a uh, circle one time to give everyone time to get up in the air. So my apologies for that. Are the winds? Yeah, we got 18 knot uh, winds right now. There we go. That'll give Disco Stew time to get up in the air. Yeah, if y'all remember yesterday morning during yesterday morning stream, my nose was a little stuffy, which is not unusual for me, so I didn't think anything about it. But as the day progressed yesterday, I just started feeling worse and worse. Uh, and then I woke up this morning just feeling like absolute trash. So I went back to bed. I got up at, I don't know, 7 o'clock, went back to bed at 10.30, slept until 12.30. Went back to bed at one and slept until four. So I've had my had my share of sleep, which helped me feel better. And here we are. What's up, Classy? Um, yes, this is the lake where we ended last week. Yes, it is. Lake Galilee. There, now I've got everybody all mixed up. How you doing, Classy? Good to see you, my friend. Well, we're just kind of cruising along, and uh, as Oz said, there's really not a whole lot to see here, except this lake really is beautiful. Uh, have any of y'all ever heard of geocaching or done done any geocaching? Carmel Tough, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow, Carmel Tough. I appreciate that. Let me uh, show my socks of the day, Infinite Fireman. Thank you for that. Oh, you geocache all the time? I took the grandkids geocaching yesterday for the first time. It was a lot of fun. So my socks of the day, a uh, brand new sock on the right foot. These are pink socks with uh, cell phones on them. They're actually old school flip phones on the right foot. On the left foot, I've got my sushi socks. Sushi on the left, pink flip phones on the right. Those are my socks of the day. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I ordered some uh, NFC tags. Uh, if you don't know what an NFC tag is, those are just little buttons that you can program with whatever you want to put on them. And and I'm going to buy some containers and put a put an NFC in each container with a either a you know a video or something like that for the people. So is anyone else? Uh, Bubba has heard of geocaching and, and does it. Anyone else heard of geocaching and, and goes out and basically it's kind of like treasure hunting in a way? Yeah, I've heard of it um, popular like many years ago, but uh, haven't heard a lot recently, whether it's sort of fallen off a bit or not. Yeah, you know, Oz, I heard I heard about it and um, I knew it was more GPS based and I didn't have a way to tell coordinates, but now there's an app on your phone. So it makes it a lot more user friendly, I guess. And my grandkids are all into these like treasure hunting shows. It's fake as crap. Like there's YouTube channels where people supposedly are treasure hunting and they find treasure and stuff and the kids are all into it. So they really enjoyed 
uh, geocaching because it was like hunting for treasure. I suppose um, Pokemon these days would be kind of a variant of that. Exactly. Um, but I, I did like the, the concept with geocaching that you, when you find the cache, you, you, you can take something from it, but you have to put something in. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. In Chronico. Yes. The kids think it's absolutely real. I mean, they, they are like, holy crap. And, and as an adult, I'm like, this is so fake. But yeah, that's what's really neat about it, Oz, is being able to take take a little trinket and then put something back to Moz, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, Moz. How are you doing? Appreciate that follow. Welcome in. Uh, for those of y'all that are new to the channel, uh, I saw we had some new people join even before I started the stream. Uh, I'm Scruffy Tam. I'm a longtime gamer. I've been uh, gaming since the late 1970s. I started streaming in September of 2020 and I was a variety streamer up until September of 2021 when I discovered Microsoft Flight Sim and I've been a flight simmer ever since. So if you'd like to tell a little bit about yourself in chat and if you'd like to fly along, everyone's always welcome to fly. The closest airport is what's showing in the upper right hand corner and we're on US East server. Yeah, so the first, the first place we went to, we couldn't find anything. Texan, what's up, Texan? How are you doing? Uh, Texan one, welcome in. Good to see you. <clears throat> um, the airplane is offline. The fire Sandy, I don't know how that even happens. That's weird. So Texan one is another flight sim streamer. There's a shout out for Texan. Good to see you. Go give him a follow. Oh, the game is offline. Gotcha. So the first geocache location was in a, a grocery store parking lot. And it was right where a lamppost is. So lamppost in the United States, the base where they have the screws or that they bolt and pull to the concrete base usually has a metal cover over it that you can just slide up. And that's where a lot of people hide um hide caches uh texan are we friends in microsoft flight sim if not this is the closest to airport you can just spawn in there we're not that far away from it so right near the lamp post okay we are friends that's i don't know why it doesn't show people on the world map KW, welcome in. How are you doing, KW? Good to see you. So the first cache was at a grocery store parking lot near a lamppost. We looked all around the lamppost. When we pulled up, there was a, a food container, like one of these styrofoam food containers sitting in the parking lot. And my grandson, bless him, he says, pop, pop, there it is right there. That's the cache. I said, no, baby. That, that's someone's leftover lunch that they littered and just left in the parking lot. So we looked, couldn't find, couldn't find the cash around the lamppost or anything. And he was mad. He was mad because he was determined that that food plate was the cash. This, then the second place we went to, it was in a very bad location. So we didn't, we didn't go to that one. But the third one, finally, we did find a little egg. Yeah, Chronico, it is. That is definitely a southern backhanded comment. <laughs> backhanded compliment, yes. Yeah, then e even later on, I was trying to explain to him and his sister that geocaches will be like in a plastic waterproof container. And he said, oh, kind of like that plate that was sitting in the parking lot at the first place. <laughs> Oh man, whatever.
Yeah, but they had a blast, though. It really was fun. He'll forever hold that over your head, Scruffy, since you did not sufficiently test his hypothesis by opening up that container. You are 100% correct. That that kid is as hard-headed as I am, and that's scary. <laughs> yeah, I even went so far. So I parked the Jeep on top of, not on top of, but over the top of the, uh, the food plate because I didn't want them messing with it. But we finally, he kept on, and I let him pull it out from under the jeep and I not open it because i told him i didn't want his hands on it but i tried to kick it open with my feet and ants and some kind of flu some kind of liquid came out of it but he's still convinced that that was the cash uh king ken yes the first airport will be a touch and go yep And it is uh, YDMB, Yankee Delta November Bravo. Mrs. Oz actually has a, a grandson who's uh, very strong willed like that. <laughs> I remember once in the past when he was being told off by his mother along the lines of, oh, don't keep doing that because you'll break it, or whatever it was. Uh, he said, he, he just retorted, but it didn't. And when she kept telling him off <laughs> and got angrier and anger, he, he, he walked away in the end, still muttering under his breath, but it didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is my grandson. Oh, also, Oz, I know that you had talked about Splatoon 3, or your grandkids maybe were talking about Splatoon 3, that new... Uh, that new Nintendo game. I played it. As, as the times that I was awake today, I played it with my grandson. It's really fun. I, I haven't played it myself, but my my, uh, my, my granddaughter says that she's, uh, she's working her way through it at a rapid pace. <laughs> yeah, well, my grandson is too. But it, it is a lot of fun. Uh, oh yeah, Infinite Fire Man. Love telling them not to do something and they look right at you and go do it anyways, right? And you would think because of that, if you told them the opposite, like go do that, that they wouldn't do it, but then then they go, they go do it with your blessing. <laughs> Reverse guy psychology doesn't necessarily work in that case. Yeah, right, Twitchy Rich, exactly. Uh, yeah, it is good to see Momberry. I don't. Th I think I did greet Momberry at the very beginning, but yeah, Momberry, much. It is good to see you flying along with us again. Got uh, several people flying along. Got Kenzo, uh, Infinite Fireman, Chronico, Nova stuff. Who's Twitchy Rich? We got Andy flying along with the for the first time. By the way, this is the first fly along with Andy. Andy has been watching for a while, but decided to fly tonight. Thank you, Andy. Uh, stuck, struck, vase, Az Bubba, Disco Stu, Oz Nomad, Texan One, Monberry Mochi, and Jerdot and Zero Tadpole all flying along tonight. Thank you for being here. You're welcome, Mom Barry. Always nice to have everybody flying along. I think everybody enjoys group flights. For the most part. So this week for me is finals week uh, for our students. We, the way we do our semesters, so a semester at our school is 16 weeks long. 
<laughs> but um, we divide the semester in half into an A term and then a B term. So, you know, we, we split the semester into two different mini semesters for our students. So this coming week is the final week of the A term. So our students will be doing finals this week. Viper NB, welcome in. Thank you for the, hey, thank you for the first time chat also. Good day to you, Viper. Are you from Australia? Uh, and Twitchy. Oz might be able to answer that. Oz, are there a lot of dangerous snakes in this area, like in the arid, just kind of desert-like area of Australia? Oh, there's a, there's a lot of dangerous snakes anywhere you go in Australia, be it the desert or wherever. I mean, that's not to say you'll see lots of them, um, you know, uh, but they're around, yeah. Okay. Oh gosh, so Viper NB is someone that I know. Um, Viper, I do not recognize you. No, I'm sure I would if you, um, if you were, oh, from another stream. Okay, gotcha. I thought it was someone in real life. I may not then. Oh, okay, Tomo's world. Yeah, me and Tomo's are good buddies. Yes. I'm um, very much. You got gravel upgraded your monster cub NX the near study level. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. Near study level is really, really nice. I enjoy this plane for that reason, Monberry. Inland Taipans appear often. They have the most potent venom of any snake. Wow. Um, yeah, Viper Tomos is a good friend. Um, I'm really glad to see him getting more involved in streaming again. He was, he and I were kind of in a competition, not in a competition, I guess just, just a friendly banter about, um, how quickly our channels were growing because his channel and my channel were growing at the same pace for a little while. And I was really concerned about him when he stopped streaming just abruptly, but I'm glad to see he's back flight simming. And uh, I need to spend more time in his channel again, but it's, it's just been a busy month for me, but hopefully after next week, it'll be a little smoother. But he's a great guy and very, very talented also. I'm sure he's sleeping right now though. It's after midnight for him. Yes, Viper. In 2021, I took a three-month break from streaming uh, due, to, due to health reasons. He was talking about grandkids. Uh, he was talking about grandkids being defiant. Yeah. <laughs> nah, wow. Well, not so much. No. Moz, thank you for that first time chat. So, uh, Moz, are you also from Tomo's World uh, Stream? Yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on in Microsoft Light Sim. A lot of planes. Uh, the new, the new update is amazing. Oh, awesome, Moz! Thank you for coming in, and uh, thank you for the follow. Tomos is a, is a longtime friend. So I'm flying the WB Sim, very near study level mod, uh, Cessna 172. I love this plane because pretty much everything works on it just like it should in real life. And it's got some failures over here. Let me see if I can... Uh, zoom in a little bit so so there's some things that you can set to fail or to just wear out so i've got engine wear on um i had spark plug fouling on but right now i've got my mixture set correctly and it's not fouling but the oil level i'm not going to mess with my oil level i just want to see what happens when i run the plane out of oil so i'm going to keep on flying it until it runs out of oil and of course i know the engine will stop but i don't know if it'll make noise first or uh, or what's up 
you know, or what it'll do. So we'll find out. Little experiment. Okay, we are coming up on the first airport of tonight. And by the way, also, for those of you that are new, I normally don't have Discord chat on, uh, but I do have Oz Nomad. Uh, he's gracious enough to have helped out with these flight plans. And he's also, he he's, uh, lives in Australia. So I've invited him in voice chat on each one of my Australia streams to educate us on things. So that's the other voice that you hear. I don't see the airport. I thought that was it right there. I see it on the screen right in front of you, I think, doesn't it? Is that it right there? Yep, it is. Okay. It looks, it, it looks like an airstrip. Or is this it right here? Hmm. Several places it could be. Yeah, he is Viper. <clears throat> According to Little Nav Map, it's that second area that I saw that's right behind me now. I'm just doing a go around. I think it was that first sort of uh, rectangle you saw, but I'm not certain. It's difficult to de determine these sometimes when they're that color on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's on the right near the homestead. Okay, okay, several people are on it now. All right, good deal. Well, that helps when I have uh, community members. It's another reason I like group flights. Deep Dish Dave, what's happening, man? How are you doing? Deep Dish Dave is another flight sim streamer and uh, member of the community here. Great, great guy. Uh, there's a shout out for Deep Dish Dave. Good deal. I have some people on automatic shout outs just to save me some time. Trump monkey, thank you for Yeah, I think there is some confusion about where the airport is though, because I've got some people on that strip to the right and then uh, some right here. But it's okay. Doesn't matter how oh, this is the bush land wherever the hell you like, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Our stream is going really, really well. Thank you. So, it, yeah, I'm being told this is not the runway. Oops. That's all right. It's just the touch and go anyway. So, oh, another hard landing. What the heck? I'm going to circle around, though, because I want to see the other, the real runway. Super exhausted, super busy day at the shop. Oh, nice. I mean, I'm glad it's. I'm glad it was busy for you. Well, actually, I, I'm pretty convinced that is the right one way, Scruffy, because I'm on the magenta line following the fight plan, and I'm heading straight towards it. Hmm. Oh no, Chronico had a CTD at the airport. Dang it. I'm going to do we'll a low a pass. Game. Do what now? We'll have to have a new game. Spot the airfield down under. I know, right? I'm going to do a low pass at this other. See, I thought this was an uh, airstrip right here, too, because it looks very airstrippy. I'm right over top of it on the flight plan now. That seems to be the one that you did land on. According to Microsoft, anyway, they yeah. could, of course, be wrong. <laughs> Microsoft could, of course, be wrong. <laughs> yeah, what? Really? <laughs> yeah, this does look airstrippy too, though. That other, that other place. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another, uh, just a quick go around so y'all can get back up in the air. Uh, that was, uh, that was interesting. You'll pretend you fainted in the cockpit, Chronico. That's funny. Um, yeah, deep dish, deep dish Dave. I remember from my days managing uh, the service department 
at uh, at the Chevrolet store that uh, yes, I was thankful for the busy days, but especially when you're short staffed, and I can't imagine trying to uh, manage a store with the way the uh, the job the employee market is right now. That would be really really hard. But yes, I was always thankful for the busy days, but thankful that they were over as well when they were over. Yeah, flying around out here in, in the Australian bush, um, you, if you keep your eyes open, you will see a lot of airstrips on the ground that are not represented as airstrips in the sim, simply because it's that kind of country. That there's, there's little bush strips with people flying in and out all the time. Oh, yeah, I can imagine that, yeah. With it being so um, sp so sparsely populated that the quickest way to get around yeah. would be just to hop in a plane and go. Uh, Deep Dish Dave, I love Sim Toolkit Pro. I've been using it now for a long time. And it's it's very good. The only thing I use it for is uh, the landing rate and then the flight data that's up in the top there. And lately, I've been using it for METAR. But that's it. Oh, wow. Dave, that's tough. You had to do it all yourself? That Yeah, that's pretty rough. Okay, we're heading now to our first coal mine of the day. There'll, there'll be several. Um, but as I've said on previous streams, there's this whole area, um, um, which is part of uh, a basin that supplies the main uh, uh, river here, uh, is a huge um, coal mining area. Um, there's about 36 coal mines spread across a, um, uh, an area which is sort of 200, 200 uh, uh, nautical miles north to south. Um, and they produce between them about um, um, 10 uh, 100, sorry 100 million tons of, of, of coking coal every year wow coking coal for those who don't know um it is just coal that is it is sort of because of its composition is most suitable for uh in in inverted commas uh, cooking you know, they, they essentially heat it and it breaks down and forms coke um, which is what's used in um, um, furnaces, in iron ore smelters and so forth because again uh, that coke reacts with the iron oxide which is the raw uh, iron ore that comes out of the ground and it removes the oxygen and leaves uh, pure pure iron behind which is then turned into steel. Very interesting and you know it's funny to hear that term coke being used because as a as a technician the first time I heard the term coke or coking, besides the the drink, uh, being used was on some throttle bodies of uh, fuel injected vehicles. There would be carbon coking around the throttle, the butterfly plate, which would cause idling issues on newer vehicles that are fuel injected, um, that aren't throttle body. They're uh, port fuel injected vehicles, and so that's what General Motors called it was coking. And so I kind of I find it interesting to to know where the term came from now. Yeah, I remember back in the uh, in the 60s when there was a big push on back then in, in the UK when I lived there uh, about clean air and so forth and the emissions from uh, coal, which was burned extensively. Um, you know. Yep didn't produce any smoke when people used it in their homes. Wambi, what's up Wambi? How are you doing my friend? Good to see you. Uh, Wambi, if y'all don't know Wambi, uh, Wambi is a, does a lot of behind the scenes stuff, uh, creating in Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, helps a lot of other developers out with problems. He is a true genius and uh, streams every now and then. Good to see you, Wambi. Welcome in. 
A peach tree. Welcome in also. Good to see you. Happy Sunday to you. And Wombie's actually helping the team that, that created this plane uh, with a few add-ons for the next update. This should be pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to those updates. Well, I'm above. I'm, I'm above the uh, the mine now. Uh, not much to see on the ground below. I have to say. Um, I suppose it's possible. It's no longer in use. Oh, where are you at? Let's see. All the main workings might even be underground. But um, most most of the coal mines in this kind of area are open pit and uh, excavations. Oh, so that's the shaded area that's in uh, Little Nav Map then, must be the coal mine, and yeah, I'm not... Yeah, those, the uh, Little Nav Map shows um, those areas pretty nicely with like a, a brick patchwork design on any area that's being used for mining. Yeah, you definitely can't see anything on the ground, can you? No, nah, not, a, not a sausage. Yeah, Momberry, for sure. When I did my coast to coast uh, U.S. tour, this is what Texas looked like. <laughs> yes. All right, Deep Dish Hello. Dave, thank you so much for the lurk. Is it me? Thank you for being here. Have a good evening. And uh, good luck with the restaurant. Keep being busy. <laughs> Fox. What's going on, Fox? How are you? Welcome in in 8033 Fox and Raiders. Welcome into the channel. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. If uh, for those of y'all that don't know me that came in on the raid, I am Scruffy Tam. I'm a longtime gamer. I've been gaming since the 1970s. I've been a flight simmer since uh, September 2021 and I've been a streamer on Twitch for a little over two years now. Welcome into the channel. How is everyone doing? What were you guys doing? Yeah, welcome in everybody. Thank you everybody for welcoming the Raiders as well. What were you guys up to? Where were you flying? What were you flying? Why is my plane not wanting to fly uh if fireman can you shout out um fox for me do you know how to do a shout out oh you were trying the i6 radeon pilot edge dude pilot edge is some serious stuff that's awesome man how did you do? There's a shout out for Fox there. Uh, MVP, welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you again. There we go. Thank you, Infinite Fireman. Sorry about that. I know it's hard for you to do while you fly too, Fireman. Uh, my shout out button wasn't working, but now it is. You learned two ways not to fly the I-6 rating. Oh, it's you, Scooter. What's up, Scooter? Hey, well, at least you now know how not to fly it. <laughs> N82. N824 M pilot. Thank you for the first time chat. Good to see you. Welcome in also. Yes, a good pilot is always learning. Yes. And if you walked away from it, and we all walk away from them on the sim, then uh that's even better. You learned and you walked away from it too. Can't beat that. Wired, welcome in. How are you doing? 
time for an experiment can i fly and play mario kart at the same time no no just gonna say cannot ain't gonna happen i mean i guess i could but uh i'd have to be on autopilot or something infinite fireman with a test question thank you for that airport taxiway edge lights are identified at night by ooh. I think it's, I want to say it's B Bravo. I think it's B Bravo. Yeah, there we go. Thank y'all. I thought that was correct. Just wanted to make sure. No fire Sandy. I don't. I see that you're with me. I see you're flying, but I don't see anything strange about it. Oh, Bubba, you're going to play Mario Kart and fly at the same time? I'm glad it's not me having to do that. Yes. Oh, yes. I will be there. I'm a media partner. Uh, I've already got my flight booked and paid for. I've got my hotel room booked. And uh, I didn't realize this about hotels that you don't pay for the balance until you get there. So I've got the hotel booked, uh, but not, not paid for yet. But yeah, I will be there for sure. Thank you. I'm looking forward to meeting you, Fox. And, and a bunch of other people. But yeah, Viper, please jump in on the flight. Feel free to. Ashley, what's going on, Ashley? How are you doing? You should be in bed. So night in that case, and you book your van sim cross the pound. Oh, nice. Cross the pond eastbound on the twelves of this month. Nice, awesome. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I understand, Ashley. No worries at all. Let me give Ashley a shout out. Ashley is a good friend of the community, um, a pilot on Twitch as well. There's a shout out for Ashley. Good to see you, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, you're so tired you can't even type. What? You're going to go in an interesting plane today. The C-195. Oh, nice. So today we're just, we're flying in Australia. I've got Oz Nomad, an Australian resident on the, um, on the, on, I was going to say on the other line, <laughs> in a Discord chat with me. To, as a tour guide, but right now there's not a whole lot to see. Of course, yeah, Viper. Yeah, it's, it's, Go ahead, Oz. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's no, that's okay. It, it, it's fairly desolate out here and, and flat and scrubby, sort of looking, but it, it, it does have a beauty of its own, um, especially on the ground. When you're out here uh, on the ground, um, the the isolation uh the, the the sense that there's there's no one you know you're the only person for possibly hundreds of miles in any particular direction uh, is is quite um, profound and and the night skies are incredible uh, once you get away from um, any, any sort of man-made lighting and so forth the skies are you know just ablaze with stars that, that you don't see uh, in the cities oh yeah gosh i bet that is awesome but yeah, Viper, um, please, and, and that goes for anybody else. Um, I always accept friend requests in the sim. So if you'd like to send me a friend request, please feel free to send me a friend request and I'll accept it. And that does make it easier to spawn in. Uh, Mech Bossman, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you for the introduction. Welcome in. Happy Sunday to you.
although it's not much to see as places we've never otherwise yeah exactly that's what i like about these uh these flights is even though it's somewhere that may not be the most exciting place it's somewhere we've never been before in terrain we've never seen before but i'm wondering if we might need to jump in the wombi buggy and just go <laughs> driving just just being funny not bad doing some farming are you a uh, farm simmer i haven't seen anybody on a farm sim in a while speaking of that i kind of forgot about it because it's been a while Oh, wow, you do a lot then. Nice. FS22, Flight Sim, American Truck Sim, ETS. Nice. So I actually bought American Truck Sim shortly after I got Microsoft Flight Sim. But I'm the type of person, like, once I really get involved in a game, I, I need to buy all the peripherals. So I'm afraid if I start American Truck Sim, I'll have to buy a steering wheel and a shifter and proper pedals and stuff like that. So I've never started, I've never opened American Truck Sim. Just for that reason, I don't want to get hooked and have to buy a whole nother set of equipment. Oh, nice. The buggy had an update with some quality of life fixes a couple weeks. Oh, did it really? I need to check it then. I'm really bad about not going to flightsim.to and updating my things. I need to check on that. You have all the stuff for both? Dude, that's a huge investment. <laughs> Wombie, me too. Although I do have a Hodos, but it's nothing like what those guys use. Right? Exactly, Fox. Me too. Because I could not be, I, I would not, I know I wouldn't be content flying, I mean flying, driving a truck or flying a truck with a uh, yoke and throttle. I mean, that just wouldn't be right. You have Euro European Truck Sim 2 and was grinding it for years along with Flight Sim nervous yes first time no i've been nervous lots of times um yeah so i've never i mean i've got a dedicated flight sim room i probably don't have it laid out the best in the world <laughs> but i mean it's all it's all good oh i know mom Barry, that'd be sick That'd really be awesome. Oh yeah, I'm sure that someone's got probably more than somebody has a simulated truck and i'd love to build a, a big you know c-172 simulator and i've got room in this room to do that but i don't know that the wife would be all that much for it plus there's other things i want to buy besides a bunch of uh plain pieces to assemble in this room Oh, that's a good question, Viper. I don't know what the squat code is for Australia. So a little bit about me, uh, for those of you that are new and Viper, I am fairly, well, I've been flight simming now for over a year uh, and I'm slowly learning things. I'm not into VAT sim or flying exactly properly. So I do know, I do know some squat codes, but I don't know 
what the squat code would be for here. Oh, is, that's it? Okay, thank you. Chronico knows 7,500. Thank you for that, Chronico. Yeah, Fox, that would be nice. <laughs> call, call, call. What's up, Death Crow? If I, if I missed you earlier, <laughs> Death Crow, I'm sorry. Good to see you. Oh, that's right. 7,500. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Chronico, sorry. That's, um... That's hijack code or something, isn't it? Although, although I was talking to somebody the other day who, uh, there was an individual that was going to donate a pretty much a total plane to them so that they could build a simulator with the front part of it. So the, the fuselage was still intact. The rest of the plane was unusable. Oh, dude, I fell for it too. I'm glad I wasn't the only one, Viper. Oh, it's still 1,200. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you trolled me good. Chronico trolled me good. Uh, this one. How long have I been up in the air? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one will probably be a full stop. Let me get a, take a quick restroom break, refill my water. Uh, Low Tech, thank you for the first time chat. And we're on US East server. <laughs> Death Grow. Uh, let me give Death Grow a shout out. I don't think Death Grow got a shout out a little while ago. Uh, Death Grow is another uh, fellow Flight Sim streamer. Does some other variety games over there on his channel as well. Shout out for Death Grow there. Good to see you, Death Grow. So yes, this next airport, Yankee Echo Golf Sierra, will be a full stop airport. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to jump in, pilot. Uh, and 824M, thank you so much for the follow. And yeah, feel free to jump in. Uh, now's a good time to load in if you would like to fly along. YEGS is the airport that I'm going to do a full stop at. Take a quick pee break, refill my water, and then we'll continue our tour of Australia. Oh, there's no Bravo air space in Australia. That is interesting. I didn't realize that. Oh, Disco Stu. I totally, dude, I totally understand. No, I didn't know about that, about the airspace. Either. Not that I'm particularly familiar with those airspaces, but. Yeah, so the, um, the biggest airport to see is the Charlie Airport here then? Oh, everyone just disappeared. just lost everybody no, i've still got you all you're all still here oh good well i'm glad y'all i'm glad you can see me but i can't see anybody now <laughs> yes i do chronico i do um just doing the new england camping trip in sim and mostly spooky halloween oh nice Yeah, I've got a 17 knot wind, a 17 knot headwind going on right now, Viper. Yeah, Wombi, I've got in anyone else. I've got Oz Nomad uh, in chat with me. He lives in Australia, so uh, he's he's graciously helped with all these legs of the Australian flight, and is also my vocal tour guide as well. Hey, Wombi, how you doing?
There we go. Everyone's coming back in now. <laughs> Biggest airport is C for crikey. That's a big airport. Will you look at that? <laughs> oh, here we go. Another uh, game of Hunt the Airport. Couldn't just stick to one sleep-inducing voice. Now we have to have a David Attenborough flight sim, right? Exactly. Okay, I see the uh, airstrip now. I'm coming in at a 90-degree angle to it. Let me turn here and get ready. I enjoy tail draggers. The only tail dragger that I'm really experienced with is the kit box. And it took me a while, and I still do flip it forward, but it's not as often as I used to. The key to it is is while you're on the ground, uh, put your flaps up as quickly as possible once you get on the ground, and also pull back on the yoke so that your elevator keeps uh, down pressure on the tail of the plane, and you should be fine. And so there's my announcement about FS Expo next June 23rd through 25th. I'm so excited about this. I mean, you would think it was next week. I'm so excited about it. And as much as I talk about it, but I'm really excited to meet so many awesome streamers that'll be there. And a lot of the, uh, flight sim community, the developers, hardware companies and stuff like that as well. I've lost the runway again. Oh, I guess it's right there where everybody is, huh? Oh, no, I didn't. Actually, that's um, from experience. That's from experience flying the flying the kit box. I'm not a pilot in real life. Just flying it in the sim. I've learned that. But that's cool that Trent Palmer says the same thing. Ooh, crabbing in. Holy crap. Feeling kind of crabby tonight. There we go. Ooh, that was rough. How am I looking fuel-wise? Yeah, I'm good fuel-wise. But why is my fuel... Hang on a minute now. My fuel is not... Oh, it was shaking around. That's really cool. I don't know if y'all noticed when I said something about my fuel, but my fuel gauges were not even. But I guess it's because the inertia was pushing the fuel level sensors to where they, to where the levels would be uneven. Now they've even back out now that I'm sitting still. Very cool. It's another reason I love the freaking WB Sim mod. It's so real. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna sit here just a minute, watch some people come in. And then I'll go uh, take a quick pee break, a water refill break, and then we'll get back up in the air. We still have a ways to go. 
uh, pull up little nav map really quick to show you. So we started right here at YMTB. Oops. I'd say we're not quite halfway through. We got a few stops along the way. Then we'll end up there on the shore. Disco dude, thank you so much for the 200 biddies. Thank you for being here, my friend. Uh, rest well. I know uh, hard physical labor um, really wipes wipes us out the older we get. So uh, sleep well, my friend. Thank you. The cycle of water digestion break. I love it. Yes. Yeah, forward slip. I was slipping big time coming in too. It helps out a lot. Yes, Chronico, for sure. It's going to be really, really nice to see some mountains and some shore after, you know, seeing desert, uh, like you said, for the past couple streams. Sesgo is going to come in with a uh, 737? 747. Where are you at, Sesgo? All right, so if you'd like to fly along, now's the now's a good time to jump in and fly with us. No rules, just fly, fly what you want to and fly how you want to. I'm going to um, go take a quick potty break and I'll be right back. Y'all enjoy some music. Talk amongst yourselves. See you soon. Right, I'm back. Is uh, Sesgo landed yet? Oh, there he is. All right, let's check this out. We'll watch this landing and then we'll take back off, continue our trek. <laughs> Lights with Joel. <laughs> Holy crap. Joel, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. 
uh flights with joel raid what's going on with 22 people holy crap welcome in everybody how are you doing so i'm watching some people land really quick and then we're going to get back up in the air we're doing a tour of australia with uh what sesco you just disappeared on me well that was very anticlimactic oh wait why did you disappear that's weird so uh flights with joel thank you so much how was your stream dude flights with joel is an awesome flight sim streamer if you don't follow flights with joel stop right now go give flights with joel a follow there's a shout out for him joel how are you doing man how was your stream what were you up to joel is another person who is who's a media partner with fs expo i'm really excited to be a media partner with fs expo and be able to uh be in the company of people like flights with joel uh two-tone murphy uh sky command i'm trying to think of who the other people are that are media partners i can't remember right off the top of my head but i'm really really excited to meet people like flights with joel and many many others at fs expo next year uh i haven't mentioned this yet though so if you're interested in going registration opens in december and uh, i can get you a discount on your registration tickets 10 percent off with a special code scruffy tam is the special code um yes i did use the one from the pack yes i did flights with joel i can get it to you um if, if you didn't get it or whatever i can get it to you all right let's uh let's get up in the air now i'll make a pattern around the airport once i get up in the air to give everyone time to get in uh so joel you were flying what were you flying in alaska with the tiger moth nice fly out of this end of the runway Yeah, Sesco does some really amazing landings with uh, jets. Passenger airliners, not just a jet, a passenger airliner. But I hate that the model matching screwed up right there at the end, so I couldn't actually see the landing. Oh, nice, dude. Awesome, man. Thank you for being here. Welcome back. Uh, dude, Flights of Joel is a really great guy. Flies helicopters a lot of the time, but also, like tonight does fly other aircraft as well dude fly now thank you so much for that follow i appreciate that yeah flights with joel is a great guy and joel if you will whisper me in discord i'll be glad to share um the the it's basically a media kit that they um that flight sim expo released but I'll be glad to give you the file. No, no big deal at all, man. Low and slow club. Heck yes. Oh, you got to fly every helicopter you have on Tuesday. <laughs> nice. Oz, Oz, that's funny. All right. So now we're going to fly a heading of 66 degrees, 66 degree heading now. As we make our way to some mountains next. Yeah, says go, you were invisible for me. I don't know what's up with that. That's really, really weird. Spider Steve, how are you doing, man? I totally missed your comment. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Yeah, Flights with Joel is uh, part of the Low and Slow Club. Uh, does an amazing job flying helicopters. On his YouTube channel, he's got a series on how to fly helicopters in Microsoft Flight Sim. I watched the series, bought an X-56 Hodas, and uh, have still not flown a helicopter yet. <laughs> just because just because i love this plane oh nice steve thank you for coming in on the raid and for all of y'all that came in on the raid if you don't know me 
and you came in on the raid. I'm Scruffy Tam. I'm 54 years old. I've been gaming since the late 1970s. I started streaming on Twitch in September of 2020. I was a variety streamer. And then as fate would have it, I discovered Microsoft Flight Sim and flight simming in general a little over a year ago. And I have pretty much not played any other game on or off stream except Flight Sim. But it's not a game. Uh, but today I did play Splatoon 3. I got to... I got to give full disclosure here. I played some Splatoon 3 this afternoon and thoroughly enjoyed it. <clears throat> the Sesco, I didn't miss much. Did you crash? Oh, I love Splatoon. Yeah. Splatoon 2 is why I bought my Nintendo Switch. And... I had kind of stopped playing Splatoon for a while, but Splatoon 3 came out and I'm really enjoying it. And these winds have me all over the place. nice crowd of people tonight flying along as well uh if you would like to fly along i'm not sure if i mentioned this since the raid but if you would like to fly along everyone's always welcome to fly along with me no rules just flight is my slogan uh that means fly what you want to and fly how you want to <laughs> says go says goes always trolling me about my flaps They look like they're down because of the uh, paint texture, but they're not. Yeah, it says go for sure. Uh, which day and time? So, dude, I on Sunday evening. So I'm on Eastern Daylight Time. On the I'm on the east coast of the United States, live in South Carolina. So I fly on Sunday evening, starting at 8 p.m. Thursday evenings starting at 8 p.m. And then Saturday mornings starting at 8 a.m. And those are my uh, three, three stream days. And I try to keep to that schedule. For the past three weeks, I've had to cancel some streams. But looking forward, things are looking good. So I should be able to stay on that stream schedule now. Kev Sim Corner, what? How did I miss you in the Sim flying along with me that you actually had a post in chat what i might have purposely did that to make you post in chat now kev sim corner a great guy uh, an american truck sim streamer speaking of american truck sim like we were talking earlier kev sim corner is a great guy very engaging truck simmer uh streams on facebook but also multi-streams to twitch so go check out kev sim corner give him a follow if you're interested in or you like American Truck Sim content, you won't regret it. You'll love it. I promise you. Oh, really, Frankie? Oh, Frankie Sat. I, I misread your name. Um, the western, the western, uh, western end of South Carolina. We are um, about an hour southwest of Greenville. Where do they live, Frankie? Oh, nice. Dude, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for coming in on that raid. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, they live in Lexington. Yeah, I'm familiar with Lexington. Lexington's about two hours from me. Used to go to Lexington a lot, but I haven't been there in, gosh, probably a couple of years. You're welcome for the shout out, Kev. Thank you for coming in and flying along with me.
Oh, you were born in Greenville, Twitchy? It used to be a U.S. Air Force base. Really? I didn't realize that. Now, I do go to Greenville a lot. I will say Thursday evening stream should be interesting because myself and our department head at work, we've got to be in Greenville, which is an hour away. We got to be in Greenville for an event that starts at 7.30 a.m. Thursday morning. It's a governor's, it's our South Carolina State Governor uh, Electric Vehicle Summit. So Thursday evenings, I'm gonna Thursday evening, I'm gonna be wiped out. I watched the Singapore Grand Prix. Right. Yeah. yeah. Carlo came fifth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really good. It, apparently, the they lost six cars because the, the the track was wet. Yes. Yeah. So hard to control. Um. What crashed them? You mean what? Yeah. They they damaged them. Damaged them or the engines went or something. Yeah. Because it, yeah, they tried different tyres. Yeah. Um, Addison sent a message. They'll pick us up. Oh, all right. Yeah, Kev, I've seen a lot of people fly in the Tiger Moth. It does seem to be a really nice plane. I was tempted to buy it, but I've spent a lot so lately like on flight sim stuff. What is? But I may end up buying it anyways. Yeah. Well, let's we'll take a chance, don't we? I mean, we, we can't cater to them unless they tell us, can we? Can we? Thanks for dropping the bass into the fireman. And uh, Gyps. Gyps Niz, thank you for the follow also. That kind of blew my mind because uh, Gyps Niz followed right when Infinite Fireman dropped the bass. Like, wait a minute. I hear SpongeBob in the background. Thank you so much for the uh, follow, Gyps Niz. I appreciate that. Welcome into the community. Twitchy, I okay, thank you, because I don't know the answer to that, but I do now. Thank you for that. Uh are we having invis oh, you know what? I think I I am Spider Steve. What the heck? Is everyone else having invisible plane issues again, or is it just me? No, are you hearing me now, Scruffy? Yes, sir. Oh, that, that's not right then. No, my push to talk isn't working. <laughs> it's all general. Oh, that's talk. okay. Somebody just put in the chat they can hear my wife uh, talking to me. Oh. I didn't realize. Yeah, she was uh, talking about racing. What kind of racing was she talking about? A Grand Prix. She was, she was watching some Grand Prix stuff on the telly. She got into that recently. Nice. Um, with, uh, there's, there's a documentary series on TV uh, about the Grand Prix. Yeah, she, she's uh, heavily into that. Okay. I'm just trying. I'm just frantically trying to think now. I hope, I hope I didn't say anything bad about anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I was on push to talk. Oh my god. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, you did. You're, you're good. Uh, uh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fire Sandy, I do Thanks still see you. I didn't want to be rude, so I'm glad someone else mentioned it. Oh no, always let me know. Yeah, I usually have it on uh, on push to talk because uh, you know uh, uh, this is all does come out and nag me from time to time, especially if I'm flying. You know, yeah, no, you never talk to me. <laughs> That's right. Flying. <laughs> no worries, man. Mm -hmm. All right, Sandy. You are in here with us all the time. What are you talking about? I need whatever you're on tonight. To make me feel better. Clockmaster, what's up, dude? Nice. You may have to remind me a few times, Clockmaster, that you changed your username. I love it. Stole Simpilot. Welcome in. So Clockmaster PC is a fellow South Carolinian as well. Uh, we have met. And he lives uh, about an hour from me, actually. We've met up before. 
Good to see you, Clockmaster. Clockmaster is another streamer as well. Or stall sim pilot. He and I actually met at a fly-in at a uh, grass strip airport near here. A, a really, really big complex. But they've got a grass strip. It was really cool to see a bunch of planes where people had flown in, much like the camp app, the camp out app. People had flown in and can't pitch their tents under their wings, and it was really cool. Oh, nice. You finally get going again? Okay, good. Uh, Twitchy Rich, I actually bought it yesterday. I bought the, the balloon yesterday. Uh, flew it this afternoon. Actually, if, if y'all saw that I was in Microsoft Flight Sim earlier today, that's what I was doing was loading it in, making sure it was registered and attempting to fly it. Something funny though, I saw the fireworks in the basket and figured I would uh, shoot off the fireworks and actually put, put holes in my balloon and crash. Yeah, Joel, I did see your video. I saw it over on YouTube. Joel's, Joel's done a, 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 what did you call it? I love the way you named it. The dishonest review. Is that what you called it? Of the, of the balloon on his YouTube channel. Great job, Joel. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what it was that I, when I shot their fireworks, uh, somehow they shot through the balloon and yeah, I totally, totally popped my balloon. Dishonest review. That's it. It's full of hot air. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so I actually just took off from the airport that we started at this evening. And the winds were blowing the opposite direction. So anyways, it was cool. I had no idea what I was doing. But it was still cool to be able to be in a balloon and just kind of float along. Yeah, I'd love to have a crack at the uh, the ballooning in real life, I think. Um, they, they say that it's completely still when you're up there because you're actually moving with the wind. So effectively, the wind speed passing you is, is zero. It would be idyllic, I would think, peaceful. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. I think it would be really peaceful. Yeah, Gyps this. It really is a good add-on. I don't know that I'd ever fly the balloon on stream, but a lot of things that I buy, a lot of the planes I buy are just so that I can see them if someone else is flying it in the sim. Going into alert mode? No problem, Joel. Thank you for the alert. Dude, thank you so much for the raid. Holy crap. I really, really appreciate that. Jip, are you a streamer? I need to give you a shout out if you're a streamer and please don't be shy. If anyone in here is a streamer and I failed to shout you out or I don't know if you're a streamer, don't be shy. Let me know that you're a streamer and let me give you some love, um, shout you out so that you can get some follows and I, I want to follow you too. Of course, if you're a streamer. Yeah, Chronico, I would think, I would think the same. It's just very um very relaxing and, and the the sense of freedom in a balloon really would be nice i also love popping in on people's streams too um, I do have my regular people whose streams I, I check on, uh, but I love popping in on new people's streams and just hanging out and, you know, seeing what you're about. So if you're a streamer, please let me know. Uh, if, if you don't want to mention it in chat live, which it's okay to, I don't mind you self-promoting. But if you don't want to do that, just whisper me in Twitch and I'll be glad to give you a follow. Token Brown, what's happening? How are you doing? Welcome in. Happy Sunday to you. How are you doing this evening? Good to see you. 
Thank you. Just chilling? Me too. Me too. Always chilling in the plane. The plane. Yeah, Jip, you're kind of where I was when I first started streaming. I was the same way. Um, I had everything I needed to start. But the initial go live is very intimidating because you just never know what's going to happen. The hardest thing for me was getting used to hearing myself because I have myself in my headphones so that I'll know how high or low my level is. Although I can see that on OBS too, but listening to myself and hearing myself talk was one of the hardest things for me to overcome. Kazaki, what's happening? How are you doing? No problem at all, Kazaki Flyer. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for the uh thank for the for that though. I appreciate it. Learn how to play the Top Gun Anthem on your March and Baritone. You're saving it for... Oh, nice. Bubba, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, so Kazaki Flyer is another flight sim streamer. Uh, you'll see him flying with a lot of other streamers as well. Great guy. Great streamer. Good friend of the community. Go follow Kazaki Flyer if you don't already. Uh, yeah, so Jeb, that's really the... The biggest advice I can give anybody who's a streamer just starting out is to engage with your chat. Even, and dude, I'm telling you, it is difficult to stream with no one watching and act like there's a ton of people watching, but you've got to. Even when you see you have zero or one person watching, talk just like you had 100 people watching you. You've got to engage with the community or people are going to come in and see you saying nothing and just leave just finished your stream let you golf in the philippines oh nice yes token brand you got to be a presenter and it's really really tough starting out with no one watching you know no one's watching and you're just basically talking to nobody but you got to remember there's your VODs that are recorded to Twitch for 15 days, I think it is, initially. Plus, you never know when someone's going to pop in just for a second. And if you're talking, they're going to, they, they may talk back to you and then you may, you know, pull that person in and you get a follower out of them. The Philippines is a beautiful place to fly, Kazaki. Uh, I did that as part of my uh, Between Two Oceans tours a while back, and it really is a beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, check my plugs. No, my plugs are good. Plugs are still good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Infinite Fire Man. Oh, yeah, Kazaki, I still, I still get nervous hitting go live. Uh, tonight, for example, because I, I've got a I've got a cold. I call it a head cold, but basically, I just don't feel good. My head stuffed up. I got a runny nose, coughing some. Uh, an hour before I hit before I hit live, I wanted to just call stream off and say, "Look, I don't feel good. I'm not going to stream tonight." But it's very very important to have a regular schedule and stick to it the best you can. Will life happen? Yes, life will happen. You'll have to cancel streams. But I try your best to stick to a regular streaming schedule. Oh, they were? Were they really Infinite Fireman? Yeah, they're good right now. I totally missed it. Thank you for pointing that out. I try to glance at it every now and then. Yeah, thank you, Twitchy. It, it really does. It, once I hit go live... It really does make a big difference to me. 
it gives me a lot of energy so anyways and thank you guys i mean holy crap on a sunday to have this many people watching means a ton to me yeah, a lot of the, the performers you hear say that they're extremely nervous right up to the point where they go out on stage uh, and then it just goes away and they get on with it yeah you know i didn't understand that uh, before I started streaming, I didn't understand the uh, the butterflies is what a lot of them call it, the anxiety before you before you go on stage, which is basically what we're doing. But yeah, it's real. And once you once you hit go live, it goes away and just you, you turn on the uh whatever you the performer in yourself or whatever. Chunky, what's up, Chunky? How are you doing? Chunky Aviation is the leader of the flight sim Thunderbirds. A uh, really, really amazing formation flying group in, on Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, we got an air show coming up. The Flight Sim Air Festival is November the 19th. Put it on your calendar. It's a big... <laughs> good Lord, another raid. Uh, it's going to be a huge festival. November 19th from 3 p.m. Yeah, 3 p.m. till 9 p.m., I think, Eastern Time. Let me give Chunky a shout-out really quick. The Thunderbirds. And then I want to talk... I want to thank Melvin Leroy. What's up, Melvin? How are you doing? Welcome in, everybody. Uh, Melvin Leroy and Raiders, welcome in. I'm Scruffy Tam. If you don't know me, I'm Scruffy Tam. I'm a longtime gamer. Been streaming for a little over two years. I love flight simming. How you doing, Melvin? Good to see you, my friend. Um, let me give Melvin Leroy a shout out. I'm going to be flying all over the place now. Thank you so much for the raid, Melvin. What were you guys doing? How, how are you? Where were you flying? What were you flying? Good to see you. Y'all go give Melvin Leroy a follow if you don't already. Another awesome member of the community. Can I issue a verbal sock cam request for those people who may be new to the sim? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Uh... Trying to fly into ABQ, the, them's my shoes. I love that username, them's my shoes. How are you doing? Good to see you, thank you for the first time chat. Uh, and also for, we got a lot of new people in the community tonight. One thing that makes me unique um, to streaming, I guess, but especially to the flight sim community is I always wear crazy mismatched socks. Even in real life, I always wear crazy socks. Uh, and so I'm the only streamer that I have ever seen that has a dedicated uh, sock cam. In Chronico, I don't know why the sound alert didn't go off, but my socks of the day, on the right foot, I've got pink socks with a flip phone, flip phones all over them. So pink socks with uh, cell phones on them. On the left foot, I've got my blue socks with sushi. Sushi on the left, cell phones on the right. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. And so if you're planning on going to Flight Sim Expo, FS Expo next year, you'll get to see my socks in real life. Uh, so Chunky also, uh, I'm also a member of the FS Thunderbirds. I'm Thunderbird number eight, the narrator of the Flight Sim Thunderbirds. Yes. Oh, I promise. I promise. I will. I always wear. Sh oh, I got a funny. I got a I'm fired. You suck, Chunky. You suck. Rob Valkyrie, thank you for the follow. Rob, thank you so much for the follow. Holy crap. The support tonight has been crazy. Thank you for the follow. Uh, original Godspeed, thank you for the follow also. Original Godspeed, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. The famed 12th man of the, th of the Thunderbirds. Uh oh. Them to my shoes, thank you for the follow also. Holy crap. Original Godspeed, I'm doing fantastic, man. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, so I am the narrator of the Flight Sim Thunderbirds. If you had the opportunity to uh, see the Wings Over the Web air show earlier in the year, uh, you probably heard my voice as the narrator of the Flight Sim Thunderbirds. I'll also be the narrator of the Thunderbirds during the uh, Flight Sim Air Festival in November as well. 
it's quite an honor. It was an honor to be a member of the team. Uh, Chunky just fired me. <laughs> just kidding. I don't blame her. Give me your number so I can pay her some money to go ahead and just finish you off, Chunky. God, that, that you know what? That was recorded. Can, we, can I redact that statement? <laughs> Yes, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> like the cops are on their wise graphic. Yeah, <laughs> Chunky just clipped it. <laughs> oh God, wouldn't it be awful if I got banned from Twitch for saying that? Holy crap! Because that that really wow. Okay, never mind. I better shut up. Oh, man. Nobody heard nothing. Thank you, Melvin Leroy. <laughs> All right. So I could do in there, but I mentioned stabbing, so it's his fault. That's right. It is totally his fault. That's right. Y'all got my back. <laughs> so flying along. <laughs> Thank you for the flush, the infinite fireman. So flying along with us tonight, we got Nova stuff, AZ Bubba, uh, Knuckle Rocket, Wired, Low Tech. Uh, let's see here. Bad Havoc. I love that name. Bad Havoc. Kenzo. Uh, we got Rock. Kev Simcorner. Fire Sandy. Chronico. Texan Wood. Andy R. Jurdot. Stuck Vase. Uh, Viper. Crunch. Uh, Infinite Fireman. Oz Nomad. Holy crap. There's a bunch of people flying along tonight. Welcome in. Wheels. What's up, Wheels? How are you? It's been a while. I hadn't seen you. How are you? <laughs> Them's my shoes. Oh man, I understand. Oh, I know stall. We need, you know, I imagine soon that just like um, a lot of markets, the plane market's gonna crash too, or at least get where the prices aren't crazy, where we'll be able to, uh, where someone, not me, will be able to purchase a plane at a pretty good deal. I hope. No, Wheels, that's okay. I totally said that wrong. I hope you're doing well, Wheels. Good to see you. Wheels247 is another streamer, friend. Uh, Wheels is a variety streamer on Twitch as well. Let me give Wheels a quick shout out as I fly away, of course. Her mom commented you wouldn't let her use anything sharp. Oh, uh, thank you, Wheels. Man, I, I love I love Microsoft Flight Sim and just love the Flight Sim community. It's it's just amazing. Yeah, right, Chronico. Yep. Um, so part of why I didn't stream Thursday evening is because I was at a conference in Atlanta that was about automobiles. It was a, uh, it was called the Southern Automotive Conference. And one of the speakers, it was the most, one of the most engaging speeches I heard all week. He talked about <clears throat> the used car market and the new car market prices and where they're at now and where they need to be, where they need to be to adjust properly so that things can get back to a semi-normal state in the automotive world. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty interesting. What's up, Hard? How are you doing? Good to see you. Um, can I help you brief that chart? Oh, Oz, that, oh, Oz, thank you for that. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> That's all right, remind it's me. A nice, it's a nice windy day. Uh, yes, and yeah, that would, that'll help. That'll help. But yeah, I can do that. No flaps landing. Just remind me of that. Thank you, Oz. Uh, Chunky, so wait a minute now, Chunky. So you said that you had compression. You lost compression, but then you had compression. So. Wow. In uh, Hard Work 140, 
Uh, if I wasn't live, I wouldn't mind clicking it and trying to help you, but uh, it's really hard to do while I'm live and, and streaming too. Sorry. Oh, it stopped setting. I hate the term throwing. It didn't throw anything but a rod. I'm just kidding. Uh, stop throwing a misfire code until the engine warmed up. I do fuss at my students about saying throwing, though. Throwing a code. That, that's just a big pet peeve of mine. Sorry, Chunky. I love you. Love you. Love you, leader. Oh, Bubba, that's wrong. Oh, dude, that sucks, Chunky. What year is your Jeep? I hate that for you. I mean, I really, really do hate that for you. Oh, wow. Really? He's got an LS swap it? Twenty twelve. Dang, that's that's fairly new to have that kind of failure. How many miles was on it, Chunky? Oh, second motor. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'm with you. Ninety thousand on the motor. Okay. I need to get back on course. I'm all over the place, reading chat, just like into, have, enjoying my best life, not following my flight plan at all. Okay. I pretty much baby mine. I mean, I get in it hard sometimes just to blow the carbon out of it, but I mean, it is new. So is yours a straight drive? Is it manual or is it automatic? Sounds like it's a uh, manual. Manual, okay, gotcha. All right, we're coming up on another, another waypoint and then we'll uh, change our heading from there, but I'll let y'all know once I change heading. So Oz, this waypoint that you put in here, is this a particular point of interest? Because it does look quite interesting on little nav map. Yeah, prizes for anyone who can guess what it is. Oh, nice. Oh, that sucks, Chunky. And Melvin Leroy, no problem, man. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that support, dude. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Sleep well. Have a good work week. Oh, Viper, I learned that lesson the hard way a while back. Plugging in stuff will definitely cause it. Yeah, Bubba, Bubba's got it. This is the coal mining stream. Oh, okay. So this is another coal mine? That and cattle are about the only things out here. Yeah, Viper, I totally agree with you. Um, when I first started flight sim and I was really bad to plug stuff up and unplug stuff and then I realized that that would kill the sim really quick so I stopped so coal and cattle Yeah, that must be a, a PC thing, because I never have any problems when I plug and unplug peripherals on the Xbox. Yeah, it, it's a PC thing. It is. Uh, Chunky, yes. For 14 years, I was a, a mechanic at a, a General Motors dealership. And then for 14 after that, I was a service manager at a, a Chevrolet Cadillac dealership.
good old GM. I know GM stuff like the back of my hand. Anything that's uh, pretty much late 1980s all the way through to the mid 2000s. I know it like I know my body. That's kind of a weird saying, I guess. But anyways, I know him really well. Let me say that. Oh, is Twitch bad tonight? A lot of, uh, is there a lot of lag for you guys? You're looking at buying a 2021 Ram 1500 e-torque? See, I don't know anything about the Dodge stuff, except I drive a Jeep, which is pretty much a Dodge. Okay, everyone else is good. Two to three second lag. Okay, well, that's actually pretty good. Hey, Dorafly, how are you doing? Gasper, good to see you also. Yeah, the wind, uh, the wind has been quite horrendous this whole stream. Uh, Dorfly is a fellow flight sim streamer. Good to see you, Dorfly. Let me give Dorfly a quick shout out. Are they really the highest rated pickup trucks? I didn't realize that. Yeah, starting to see a lot of those rams out here in Australia these days for people pulling very large caravans around. Wow. Loading back in, good deal. <laughs> yeah, Dorfly, things are good. I do have a, a bit of a um a head a head. <laughs> That's <laughs> that was okay, never mind. We we won't go there. I do have a bit of a head cold. Uh, my head's kind of stuffy, uh, my nose is stuffy, nose is running, coughing and stuff like that, but uh streaming has definitely helped that. <laughs> oh good deal oh good deal man you can see me now and see i can see everybody's nameplates but i still can't see their planes i don't know what's up with that hopefully there'll be a fix for that too So what we're approaching right now is a huge coal mine. And like the last mine we saw, we can actually see, it looks like we can see some stuff. Stuffy scruffy and, and night is a tired scruffy. Yeah, I really am. Even though I slept all freaking day for the most part. Sandy's right behind me. Yep. Yeah, the mine itself, I think, is just beyond those black areas on the ground. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Yeah, Twitchy, that's what I was thinking. Looks like kind of like black water, but who, it's really hard to say. Yeah, it could, could be coal sort of piled up, ready for transport, I suppose, but I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Chronico oh, there. Coming. Yeah, oh. come up, we're coming over the, the sort of trench mine areas uh, now. If you look to your right, you see them disappearing into the distance. You see some of them are pretty deep. Oh, yeah. And it looks like a big pile of coal right, right there as well. Off, off my left wing. Yeah, it could well be, yeah. Yeah, Viper, that's all I'm seeing too. Now, I will say this, uh, Viper, there is a known bug with a 172 uh, getting close to him, not being able to see him that Wombi created a fix for. And I've got the fix in my Discord. I've got it pinned to the Microsoft Flight Sim uh, channel in my Discord. 
Yeah, I don't and, seem to be having any problems seeing other people's planes. Uh, an infidel fireman was flying quite close to me a little while ago. I saw his 172, no problem, and I can see a few others in the, in the distance. Yeah, that's so weird. But I don't see your plane graphic. I never do. Yeah, you might need to get that fixed too. Have you got it yet? No, I can't, can't do any fixes on the Xbox. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Oh, sorry. Yes, Chunky, you're right. I do need to fix that. I do have three grandkids now. Wow, there's some horrendous wind gusts right now. I guess they're, I, I don't know. A lot of turbulence. I know, right, Wombi? I just, I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Do I want a fourth? Uh, Classy, I really, uh, I hate to say no, but no. Three is, three is plenty for, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, three's good. I'm happy with three. But it's not my call. But I'll just say, uh, and the only reason I say that, I, I know that sounded maybe not so good. Uh, my daughter had a really, really, oh, my plugs are fouling again. Our daughter had a really, really rough time with this pregnancy. And I just hate to see her struggle through it like she did this pregnancy, you know, struggling through another one. So I think three is good. And I think she agrees. Her and her husband both probably agree with that. It's always nice to practice, though. <laughs> Bush! Bush Outfitters, thank you so much for the raid. Bush, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. How are you doing? How are you doing, Bush? Uh, Boozy Sheet, thank you for the first time chat. Thank you for the follow also. What's going on, King Ken? Thank you for that. It says 70 nautical miles left to go in their flight plan today. Welcome in. Uh, so uh, Bush Outfitters, in case you couldn't tell by his name, he is a Bush Flyer on Twitch. Uh, let me give Bush a shout out. Great, great guy, very engaging. Uh, trying to grow a community of bush flyers over there on his channel. Uh, so go give him a follow. Check him out. Let me give him a shout out really quick. Why is my shout out? There it is. There's a shout out from Bush. Good to see you, Bush. Thank you for the raid. For those of y'all that came in on the raid, if you don't already know me, I'm Scruffy Tam. I'm a longtime gamer. I've been gaming since the late 1970s. I'm 54 years old. I, uh... Have been streaming since September of 2020, and I've been a flight simmer since September of 2021. Welcome in, JC Cattle. Thank you for the follow. And thank you for the first time chat, also. Eaters, Eaters makes Eaters. I love that name. Eaters makes Eaters. I love your name. Uh, we are flying in Australia. We are in Australia this evening. Chunky, I saw your post, but it got lost. I know you said pull the throttle back to a quarter. Something about the stall horn. Yes, that's it, Doorfly. You got it. Pull my throttle back three quarter. Slowly pull the nose up when you hear the horn cook, kick full left rudder. Ah, uh, let me see. Never done that before. Oh, I've got I've got a lot of jet fighters. Whatever you have, I probably have eaters.
Oh no, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I have a feeling this will not end well. I know, I was, I was waiting on him to... It's kind of like a game of chicken to see who was gonna give up first and Chunky gave up. Um. Yeah, so Yeaters, I have a lot of the Jets. I've got the... Um, oh good lord, what do I have? I have, I've got a lot. Probably whatever you want to fly, I have. Have I seen the F-117? Except the 117. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it super tough. Huh? Uh, that's just a wing over stall, right, Chunky? I'd pretty much just crash to the ground. That would be extremely hard to recover from. Yeah, exactly. Okay, just let go of the oak, put opposite rudder in the Cessna and it'll basically auto, auto recover. Cool. I'm sure that's something that that you would learn as a uh, as a student pilot. Is how to recover from a spin. I'm pretty sure I've seen videos of that actually on TikTok or somewhere. Oh, did they stop doing spin training in America? Gotcha. Is that because so many weren't able to recover or some weren't able to? Okay, it's part of the private pilot. Gotcha. I'll try it one day. Pair, power to idle, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite, elevator forward. Five dollars and a bag of Doritos says I won't. Chunky, I already did. I, I was trying to do it and you, you told me not to. So Oz, what are we coming up on now? It, it looks like, is this another coal field? Yeah, I'm afraid it's another coal mine, guys. You're all going to be experts in coal by the end of the stream. Yeah, this is pretty much the northern extent of the coal mining area. I think there's a couple of small ones further north, but uh, it stretches south for a couple of hundred kilometers back to where we sort of flew inland um, a couple of streams back on the way to Long Range. Yeah, that was a huge coal mine. Oh yeah, so um, I never had a I never had a gaming PC like a Commodore 64 or anything like that. I had a buddy that had a, had a Commodore 64, but we, uh, gosh, I had Pong. I had the Atari 2600, 7800, and I've owned every Nintendo console. Not every Nintendo handheld, but every Nintendo console, except the uh, Atari VR, which I totally forgot about. Someone called me out on one time. Neil TV TV8 Neil TV8 thanks for the follow I appreciate that how are you doing Oh that would be cool B Carlo Eaters McSkeeters thank you for the follow also I appreciate that yeah, I, I remember the original Atari and Pong um, yep. years, <laughs> donkeys years ago we all thought that was a miracle at the time Oh yeah, seriously, it was it was so cool. 
Oh, it really was. It was. It was amazing, Bush. It really was. Um, Neil TV8. Hello. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you for the first time, chat. Kev Sim Corner. Thank you for dropping the base. I'm not sure why that didn't play. Uh, Yeeters, and yes, there we go. Yeeters, fly what you want to and how you want to. So yes, if you want to buzz me at mock speed, please feel free to. I love the really fast flybys and the aerobatics right in front of me. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't bother me at all. I, I really, I, in fact, I encourage it. No rules, just flight. Exactly, Kev. Thank you. Tomcat, yeah, I'm, I'm down for a Tomcat. Oh my gosh, yeah, dial up was horrible. Yeah, again, when I when I discovered them, I thought bulletin boards were the bee's knees back then. And um, what was the mail system? Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. But you sort of upload your mail, and then the next day you would log in again, and it would all down. All the replies would download. Right. Yeah, that's right. What's up, staff? How are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. All rules, no flight with bare feet. Yes. What's up, staff? How you doing? Oh, Chunky, dude. I love, I love video games. Yeah. I miss, I feel like I'm missing something. Someone said, so, oh, then you discovered the fax machine. It was cool. Yeah. Oh, where are we in the, in the down under? So we are, um, we're coming up on Mount Yucca, Yucca Wall and Mount Hess. We're flying. Oh, shoot. I'm about to crash. Yeah, basically, we're in central Queensland um, approaching the coast now. As you can tell, it's getting greener and, and the, ter the terrain is a bit more varied now. Oh, thank you, Eaters. Hello. Thank you for the lurk, Bush. Hey, Bush, I appreciate the rain, and I uh, thank you for the lurk also. Yeah, we are getting some bumpy air as we approach the mountains. Um, oh, okay, Chunky, sorry. I thought you were talking to me. Yes, we got some bumpy air going on. Oh, you wrote five pages about your first ship? Dude. Yeah, staff, that's the hardest thing about doing intro videos is especially with Twitch, you're limited to one minute on the on the intro video. So it's really hard to squeeze everything into one minute. Uh, Viper, thank you. Uh, thank you for the alert. I appreciate that. Thank you for flying along. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Viper, are you a streamer? Did we already go through this? Let me know if you're a streamer, Viper, so that I can uh, I can give you a follow as well and check you out. Wombi, do you want to play video games with Chunky? Calling Wombi. You're not a streamer. Okay, Viper. Just wanted to show you some love if you were, man. Oh, nice. Yeeters, yeah. You're a stream watcher. Awesome. Thank you for your support, man. I appreciate that. There is Wombi. Wombi, would you like to play video games with Chunky after my stream is over? Are you welcome, Viper? Yeah, I look forward to seeing you again soon, I hope. Tomcat incoming, heck yeah. Still got a bunch of people flying along. And uh, again, if you'd like to fly with me, you don't have to. I enjoy the, the uh, banter on chat as well. But if you'd like to fly along, jump on in and fly with us. Cry and hide at 13. Thank you for the follow. 
Welcome in, Pry and Hyde. I love that username. Welcome in. Good to have you with us. Yeah, the size of the mines, it's it's crazy. So I think we're approaching another one, right? Yeah, Infinite Fireman's flying over one right now. Yeah, last one for this trip is uh, Hale Creek, which is coming up soon. There's another coal miner right there. Yeah, I'm guessing that complex you just flew over, Scruffy, is, would be the accommodation for all the people that work here. Oh, well, yeah, it makes sense. Big cluster of hotel or uh, houses or whatever. Dongers, we call them. What was that? We call them dongers, D-O-N-G-A-S. Okay. Um, they're just like uh, temporary sort of um, transportable um, porter cabins uh, for people to live in. Gotcha. Uh, cry and hide. So the the yoke and the throttle, they were, Dave Rendon, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Good to see you, Dave. Thank you for the resub. The, um, the yoke and throttle were about $500, if I'm not mistaken. They're right at $500. And then the pedals that I used, they were a little over $100, like $140, bucks, I think. So it is an investment, but if it's something that you really enjoy doing, it's well worth it. Dave, how are you doing, man? Dave Rendon is another flight sim streamer. Um, Dave has been uh, cruising. Are y'all back yet, Dave? Dave's been on a cruise with his family. Hope y'all had a good trip. Keep your eyes and down below as we fly over this mine here. You'll probably pick up the occasional uh, enormous excavating piece of the equipment picked up by the satellite imagery. Yeah, there's actually several of them down there. Wow, that really is impressive. Yeah, so Dave, um, Dave posted a video from, I can't remember, what was the name of that airport, Dave, where the planes fly in really low at the beach? He posted a video on Instagram uh, from that beach. That St. Martins or something? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank you. St. Martins, yep. No, uh, Yeeters, what it is, um, there's actually a glitch right now, Yeeters, with Microsoft Flight Sim where I can't see anybody, period. And I don't know why that is, but no, I've got it turned off. It should be where you can fly right with me and, and I can see you, but yeah, because of uh, whatever glitch it is with Microsoft Flight Sim right now, I can't see anybody's plane even at a distance, unfortunately. Oh, that was part of the Disney cruise? Dude, jump fresh. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Yeah, sorry about the eater. So although I say it's okay for you to buzz me, even if you do, I can't see it, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, I don't really complain too much about flight sim because it really is amazing overall, but stuff like that is aggravating so Dave it looks like y'all had an amazing time y'all go give Dave Rendon a follow uh, he, he is an amazing guy very very strong individual Dave at the beginning of this year was in the hospital on on seriously 
hanging on by a thread with COVID. Uh, very, very close to, to leaving this world. Um, and pulled through it. And since then, has got two pilot ratings. Is that right, Dave? You got, I know you got your multi pilot rating and then your high, your high horsepower, I think, pilot rating as well. An incredible person. Dave's a great guy, good friend, too. Oh yeah, Chronico. I mean, really, he's he. Dave is an inspiration, and I had the uh, the pleasure to meet him in person, him and his family both, uh, during the spring. Playing over St. Martin, man, watching that video, I mean, which I've seen a bunch of videos, but seeing someone that I knew there, that's really amazing. It's really cool. There's Yeeter in the Tomcat. Unfortunately, I can't see him because of the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim glitch going on right now. And I haven't mentioned this in a while during tonight's stream. I've mentioned it a few times, but it's been a little while. Uh, Flight Sim Expo 2023 next year. June 23rd through the 25th. Go ahead and be making plans. It's in Houston. And uh, Flight Sim Expo is a place where people who are flight sim enthusiasts can gather and talk about what we love. Also, you'll be able to meet myself, many other flight sim streamers as well. And uh, just love to meet members of the community. And I think I was, t I don't remember who I was telling. Um, uh, who I was telling last stream or the stream before that, that I definitely wanted to meet them. And y'all, I know it's, it's a long ways away, months away, but if you see me anywhere in real life, come say hello. I want to meet you. And I want to, the reason I'm going to Flight Sim Expo is to hang out and spend time with y'all, the community. I mean, yes, I'm excited about meeting people like Two Tone Murphy, and Fabio and people like that, but I'm really excited about meeting the community as well. So that's what I'm going for to meet you guys. But also to see the hardware, software, and all the developments and everything, it's really awesome. Recon Wolf, thank you for the Discord post. Oh, Dave, I'm gonna make you go. Okay, Oz, no problem. Whoa, Twitchy, really? One crunch the top of a car driving by on the road? Wow. Excuse me. <laughs> Dave, you've got to go. She still thinks you're nuts. Oh, your wife did tell you to get your hotel booked? Nice. Well, get it done, man. Well, hey, well, you got the wife's approval. You better get it done. <laughs> um, Mine really hasn't given me much of an opinion on it. Uh, she, she understands how important streaming is to me and how important flight simming is in the community. So she fully supports me in what I do. 
and she's told me you know as long as as long as i have the money from stream you know to do it then then to do it and and i will so this is something that i've said multiple times and i'll say it again it's it's thank you yeah thanks to you guys that i have the equipment i have and the ability to go to flight sim supposed to do a big 50th birthday in may oh cool and actually dave tickets to the event aren't bad at all from what i've read uh, it's a three-day event and the uh the admission is super cheap but it's the flight in the hotel that's, you know, that's the big investment. Oh yeah, staff, it's definitely gonna be fun. I can't wait. And I know y'all are gonna be so tired of hearing about it. By the time it rolls around, you're gonna be like, dang, I'm glad that's over with. So Scurif, you'll shut up about it. But really, I'm, I'm that excited about it. Oh, you can see it now, King Ken? I, yeah, you know what? I think I can see it right there off in the distance as well. Or maybe not. I'm, I'm pretty far away still. No, staff, it really was. It, it's very reasonable. It was, I think, 109, 109 a night, which isn't bad. But it's the flight that was the killer. Well, I hope not. I hope not literally, but. You think you're going to drive down? Nice. That'll be a big deal. Oh, yeah. Chronico. That's why I'm trying to stay up a little bit uh, because I can definitely see with the winds blowing like they are. I can definitely see where there'd be turbulence flying over the top of the mountains. How long of a drive is that for you, staff? Dave, where in the world are you seeing that at, dude? No, 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 Dave. If you go to, unless, unless they're so booked up now. If you go to their booking site, um, it should be a discounted rate. I got mine for 109 a night. At the main hotel, the Double Tree, where um, Friday night, e nah, where Friday night's opening event's gonna happen. What's up, Michigan Aviator? How are you doing? 19 hours. Holy crap! Yeah, there's no way I can do that. Oh no problem, Dave. I didn't. I don't mean to distract you. Sorry. I just would love for you to go. I think it'd be uh, a really awesome thing for you to go to. Just finished your round the world flight. Cool. Where were you flying, Michigan? Oh, I understand that, staff. I totally understand. Yeah, so if you're interested in going, if you go to uh, FSX, flight, F, FlightSimExpo.com, they have discounted rates through the hotel. It should be cheaper than what Dave saw, though. 
Neil TV8, thank you for the follow on Instagram. I appreciate that. Are you down, Oz? I mean, uh, Infinite Fireman? A wide variety. Your final flight was a Lufthansa, Lufthansa CRJ 700. Nice. Oh, overtime. We got you. Okay, sorry. Also, for those of y'all that are new here, I do um, have a lot of social media that I'm that I'm on. I have a YouTube channel that I'm working on growing a little bit. But I'm on YouTube, um, gosh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all those things. We are still in Australia. Yes, we'll be in Australia for a long time, Michigan. We're approaching the uh, coast right now for our final airport of the night where I have to fly, I have to land using no flaps. This flight should have you hit a thousand hours flight. Ah, oh, dude, that's awesome, Chronico. Don't be ashamed of that, man. That's awesome. Uh, FSC Sapper, welcome in. How are you, Sergeant First Class Sapper? Good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for the first time chat. Um, SFC, we are close to the end tonight. You're still welcome to jump in and fly, but we're really close to the end of stream. I'll be back uh, Thursday evening starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm at about 520, 520. Six seventy four. Wow. You're at nine hundred to so need to get a life. Well, or or so says your wife, right? Michigan just cracked four hundred one. Nice. I'm really surprised I don't have more hours than I need. I mean, more hours than I need. I'm surprised I don't have more hours than I have because I feel like after a year of flying, they should be more than that. But anyways, here we are. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for your service. Also, your wife says you need a live. So you want to go to Houston? Exactly. That's right. Thank you for dropping that base, Michigan Aviator. And let me just say that I am very, very glad that I streamed tonight. As much as to begin with, I just didn't feel like it because I don't feel good. I'm very glad that I did. And I'm very thankful for each of you all that followed me, that rated me. Holy crap, it's been crazy. The sub gave bits. Four flights showing 18 knots down runway 14. Oh, nice. Runway 14, excuse me. Runway 14. You're fighting yearly breathing issues? Dude, um... I don't know if I told you or not. So a couple of years ago, I started with a cough and it was pre COVID. So I guess it's probably three years ago. I started with a cough and, uh, Confucian Steve. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Welcome in. 
a couple doctors told me it was my weight because I am overweight in case you, you know, you can't, you couldn't see that on my controls cam. Um, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot four, a little over 400 pounds. And uh, my doctor was saying it was my weight. And like, I, I just, I kind of took that as a cop out, you know, that the doctor is just blaming everything on weight. They really don't want to take the time to figure out what the issue is, but I finally went to a pulmonologist and a pulmonologist specializes in your lungs. We did breathing tests, a bunch of different things. And he told me that, uh, that it was my weight. And so I lost, I don't know, about 50 or 60 pounds last year and the cough actually went away. But yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that's what yours is staff. But I'm just saying that that is what mine is. So my breathing issues are of my own making. Yeah, that sucks, man. To uh, of all the things you suck at, to be bad at breathing too. Yeah, but I put it all back on though, Chronico. So that was I started out at 420 pounds. And lost down to uh, 300 and I forgot how far down I got. Whatever 50 or 60 pounds was. And then I put it all back on. So I'm right back up to 420. I've just got to put in the hard work again. Oh, you're allergic to the mold that grows on soybeans. Oh, wow. But thank you, Chronico. It was hard work and I need to get back on it. Oh, you got soybeans on your 55 acres? Ugh. Yeah, it is Chronico. So my excuse during COVID was the school that I work at, we do have an employee gym. I'm very blessed to have a to have an employer that has a a gym just for the employees. But it was closed during COVID, so that was my excuse during COVID, but it's been open for a little while. So my excuse now is I really don't have an excuse. Just laziness. And like you said, the first day going back to working out is one of the most difficult things to do. Oh man. Yeah. Staff, that would be rough. Yeah, that's it. Chronico. So I'm determined that before flight sim expo, I need to lose some weight. Uh, one so I'll, so I'll fit in the plane or the, not the plane of course i'll fit in the plane but so i'll fit in the seat of the plane more comfortably but also just so i'll be able to move around quicker and uh won't be out of wind as much All right, we are approaching the coast of Australia. I know, right, Chronico? That's a, a, sometimes I have a I have a weird way of wording things, but it's the seat that I'm concerned about because, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got me choked up on that one. That would be big. Not be able to, being able to fit in a jetway would be, uh, yeah, that'd be pretty large. Not quite that large yet.
all right so um for for streams coming up uh on monday and excuse me on sunday and thursday evenings we'll be flying in australia for the a long time uh on saturday mornings i do something a little bit different we uh we, we've been flying in iceland but that will be ending in the within the next two weeks and then i think we might revisit hawaii i did hawaii um one of the first things i did as a flight simmer was fly the hawaiian islands i might redo that but i've also got uh i'm gonna recreate the flight from greenville spartanburg airport here in south carolina to atlanta and then to houston that i'll be flying when i go to fs expo i've also got another little trick up my sleeve that i'm working on to really surprise you guys i hope and after the first of the year i want to do a battle of britain series so i got a lot of stuff in the works yes that's what i bought the uh, new ship scenery and that's why I, that's why i had the thought to redo i don't know if it's uh, did i buy it or is it free i can't remember anyways i got it and that's what gave me the thought to do the hawaiian islands now when i say the hawaiian islands most people think of the main hawaiian islands but what you may not know is the hawaiian islands as a whole stretch well over a thousand miles and that's what we'll do we'll start way out in the middle of, of the pacific ocean and slowly and painfully make our way to the main hawaiian islands but there's some really cool islands with some really awesome history along the way yes yeah jc where are you from uh well yeah i am I, i'm in south carolina if you don't mind uh what what city are you in or what town are you in jc oh rock hill really um so i'm about two hours so i'm in greenwood i'm in greenwood um rock hill there was a, a some guys in rock hill that would modify golf cart motors um plum plum quick plum quick motors really awesome people i had a 2001 club car golf cart and uh, i had a plum quick motor put in it went up there and met the guys really cool anyways good people qfa what's up how are you doing welcome welcome but anyways i know some other people up in uh, rock hill as well i think their last name was steen the steens Mongo, what's up, Mongo? How are you doing? So, Mongo is requesting my sock cam. So, my socks of the day, I always wear crazy mismatched socks. In case you haven't noticed, my channel is sock themed. My socks of the day on the right, oh, wait, there. On the right foot, I've got my uh, pink socks with uh, green, I think. Yeah, green flip cell phones. So, flip phone, cell phone on the right foot on the left foot sushi blue socks with sushi on them those are my socks of the day thank you for that so as an added challenge when we approach the final airport oz nomad has redeemed landing with no flaps so i will be doing a no flaps landing at the final airport which we're approaching soon i know right what's a flip phone although there's some company that just redid the flip phone it's a smartphone and the screen actually bends and it, it, it flips it's crazy i saw it at the at the uh phone store the landing speed for 172 no flaps that's a good question i need to look that up actually Ah, oh, King King is down. <laughs> Samsung, that's it. Yeah, Samsung did it. Landing speed with no flaps. Let's see here. Hmm, 
I don't have that on my checklist actually. So I'm not sure what a no flaps uh, speed is. We'll find it. I've done this one time before and it worked out rather well. Uh, we'll see if tonight's does. Okay, as everyone will have seen by now, um, we're over much more fertile ground coming towards the coast. Lots of uh, paddocks below you know, with various things uh, growing, being grown in the area. But predominantly it's all sugar around here. This Mackay was once the sugar capital of Australia. I think the industry has dropped off in a bit in recent years, probably due to overseas competition. But there's still an awful lot of sugar uh, grown around here. Gotcha, thank you. Uh, so a bunch of sugar cane. Huh. Yeah, oh yeah, you can definitely tell this is agricultural. Yeah, once you get over those um, low sort of mountain ranges, um, which uh, uh, which run sort of parallel with the coast for almost the entire eastern seaboard of Australia. It gets a lot wetter um, and the rain doesn't penetrate a lot further inland um, than, than those, those mountain ranges. Okay. Unless it's coming down from the north. DCM, happy Sunday to you. Good evening. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in, saying hello. Welcome in. Runway length is 6,500 feet. Cool. Yeah, Spider Steve, I, d I don't know long term how that's going to work out. I'm really curious to see how that works long term. Uh, Kino, the producer, what's happening? How are you? No problem at all. Kino, we're almost done anyway. So uh, you came in at a good time. We're uh, wrapping things up close to the final airport of the evening. Hope you're doing well, Kino. Oh, that's okay, Kino. I understand, man. You know, um, different people have different things they do at, you know, different times or whatever. And I totally understand. I like seeing everybody, but I totally understand when you, you know, when you can't be here. You know, Jip, I, I have not done radio in the past. In fact, what's, what I have found very interesting is... Prior to streaming, nobody ever told me that I had a radio voice in real life. But since I've started streaming, people in real life that have never seen a stream will tell me, man, you've got a good voice for radio. I don't know what changed when I started streaming because, you know, my voice has been my voice my whole life. But yeah, thank you. But no, I haven't done radio. In fact, the only voice... Oh, go ahead, Oz. No, I was just going to say, I've often been told I've got a great face for radio. Right, that's the same thing staff was just saying. <laughs> DCM had your share of football for today, getting the crick in your neck from being in couch potato mode. I understand. Um, the only voice work I've ever done was I did do narration. The nar I was, gosh, I can't talk. I was the narrator for the Flight Sim Thunderbirds during the Wings Over the Web air show in the spring. That's the only voice work I've ever done. Oh yeah, Jeb. Well, I am a, I am a teacher, and that definitely helps me as a teacher. I, I really project my voice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Kino. That's okay, for sure. Come. Go ahead, Oz. No, I was just going to say now, uh, we're coming up on the, the coal terminal on the coast here, which is where all that um, nasty black stuff is uh, loaded onto ships and, and transported off around Australia and the world. Okay, so a lot of the coal mines that we saw, it, the coal gets shipped here and then it gets shipped off from here. Yeah, there's a, there's a huge extensive dedicated rail network coming from all those mines. Um, mainly up to here, I think there are other coal terminals on the coast. I think we've flown over one or two of them already, but uh, right. this is a particular, this is a fairly large one. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I have had a couple of people in real life tell me that I had a a voice for radio that I should be doing radio, but I mean, at 54, I really don't feel like starting a new a new career or learning something like that. Once again, if you if you look down when flying over this terminal, you'll be able to see the enormous sort of uh, digger scraper things that are pulling all that uh, coal off the ground where it's been dumped and uh, transporting it onto the conveyor belts which run out to, to the point and uh, is where it gets loaded on board the ships. Oh nice. I'm going to get down a little low. Check that out. Uh, so Gyps, I still do teach. I uh, teach automotive technology. So uh, how to repair and diagnose vehicles, automobiles. I spent after I graduated college, I actually graduated from the college I work at, uh, studying automotive technology. And once I graduated from there, I was a mechanic for 14. Wow. Yeah. Look at all the equipment down there. I spent 14 years as a mechanic at a Chevrolet Cadillac dealership. And then the 14 years after that, I was a service manager at the same uh same dealership and now i've been a teacher for five years oh maka one and a half at 150 feet nice yeah you did it actually learned about twitch from my students my students know that i my students know that i stream and surprisingly None of them are really interested in it. And that, that, uh, that surprises me that none of them are really interested in, you know, that I'm a streamer, but they do know that I'm a streamer. But I feel like being a streamer has helped me be a better instructor. And, and then on the other hand, being an instructor has helped me be a better streamer as well. So. They both play well off each other. All right, we are approaching the final airport of the day, of the night. Yep, a quick fly over the, the town of Mackay and then uh, into the airfield. Oh, thank you, Fire Sandy. Yeah, I am redlined. I'm firewalling. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't realize I was going quite that fast. Whoa, yeah, you just whizzed past me. Yeah. Yeah, Spider Steve, exactly, exactly. I'm not doing uh, whatever the latest, you know, hip game is. Is why they're not real interested. Oh! Do you really, Gyps? What, um... Dude, I was just in Atlanta at a uh, Southern Automotive Conference, and a lot of it was based on R&D of EV and battery stuff. Uh, where, where are you at? Are you in the U.S.? You're in Michigan. Nice. Yeah, we're actually just starting a uh, EV program in our, in our, uh, an EV path in our program, actually. Uh, T uh, Ty... Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. I love how you spelt your name. What's up, Tyler? Thank you for the introduction. How are you doing? I'm Scruffy Tam. Welcome on in. And uh, Aus Flight Simmer. How are you doing? Good to see you also. Thank you for the first time chat. Welcome in. So yeah, we just applied for a grant with the National Science Foundation to get some money so that we can uh, start an EV program at our school 
yeah, hydrogen fuel cell is really, I think long term, it's going to end up being a hydrogen fuel cell, but short term, it's going to be uh, BEVs. All right, so my socks of the day on the right foot, I've got my uh, pink socks with flip phones on them, cell phones on them. On the left foot, I've got my blue socks with sushi on them. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. All right, I got pantyhose. <laughs> That's for uh, Amaranth stream there. Amaranth has the pantyhose cam. Or the non-pantyhose cam, I guess. Oh, thank you, Tyler. Elixism, thank you for the follow. Elixism, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in also. Yes, invest in hydrogen companies, fuel cells. All right, I got to do a no flaps landing here. Patty Football, thank you for the follow also. Eaters. Eaters is breaking everyone's windows. Wow, this city is very well done. Look at the detail of the buildings. Yeah, I think this was handcrafted uh, on the uh, the world update. It looks like it. Wow. Oh, Tyler, you play uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. You came from P3D. Nice. All right, this is going to be a no flaps landing. Oops. So I'm going to fly out just a little bit. Oh, you're in the balloon over the airport, Twitchy. So we should be able to see the balloon then. That's pretty cool. Metal Ann. Metal Ann coming in with a raid tonight. What? Metal Ann, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid, Rock. How's it going? We are just about to land at our final airport of the night. Uh, bandwagon ask good to see you again metal and how sweet of you to raid me metal and is who we raided uh last week at the end of stream old friend of mine good to see you let me give metal and a shout out y'all if you want some really really good content that is not flight sim related but a lot of indie games a lot of spooky games metal and is amazing Metal Ann's an awesome streamer, very engaging, very kind, with an awesome community, too. Go give Metal Ann a follow. You won't regret it, I promise you. How are you doing, Metal Ann? Thank you. Um, let's see here. Where are we flying? We are, um, Oz, what? Oh, we're in McKay right now. We're landing at McKay, and this is the final airport of the night, but I'm doing a tour of the entirety of Australia, uh, thanks to Oz Nomad. All right, let's see if I can do this. So, uh, no flaps landing. I'm actually a little bit high here. Oh, I'm not able to see the hot air balloon because of the glitch. Crap. So I met Ann and those that came in on the raid. There's a new plane that's in the sim. It's a hot air balloon. And uh, unfortunately, there's a glitch in the sim that keeps us that keeps me from seeing everyone else's planes. Or you'd be able to see that hot air balloon. Ooh, one hop. That was bad. And I'm down. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Thank you so much, Metal Ann, for the raid. I really do appreciate you. And uh, again, go follow Metal Ann if you want some really good content. Where have we flown? So, uh, Alcy, we started out. Um, Oz, where did we start out? What was the city we started it in? Uh, for the whole trip, it was uh, Sydney. Sydney, okay, yep. We started out in Sydney, Australia, and we have uh, kind of made our way inland and back to the coast several times as we make our way around Australia with Oz Nomad, a fellow uh, Australian, helping out with the plans. 
<laughs> no sense go it works it was working at the beginning of stream so there's some kind of glitch that's happening because i got a really funny screenshot of mine and um crunches planes hugging each other yes i still do so yeah i do i do still show the socks metal in you just missed it right before you raided i showed them so uh on the on the right foot i've got my pink socks with flip phones on them the brand new pair of socks and i don't know if you can see it but i actually ripped a hole in them while i was putting them on a brand new pair never worn before on the left foot i've got my blue socks with sushi sushi on them those are my socks of the day thank you everybody so now let's jump out of the plane and watch everybody else come in watch everyone else land unless everyone's already down they're not down there we go uh we already did long reach uh we did brisbane didn't we i think we already did brisbane yeah, yeah, we did Brisbane. Yeah, we did Long Reach last time, I think. That seems yeah, that was too, uh, yeah too the last the last stream we uh, we landed at Long Reach and had a look around there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you will, I'll see. I do have a, a YouTube page, YouTube channel. So just search Scruffy Tam on YouTube, and all of my old videos are there. So you should be able to go by and watch them. Oh, that's true. Why am I trying to watch Invisible Planes, right? Total new move on my part. Yeah, let's check that. I'll check it really quick. I don't think it did though. Let's see, general options. Where'd you say to go, Sesco? Yes, we saw the Qantas Museum. It was amazing. Spy Guy, thank you for being here. Yeah, so see the... Uh, Multiplayer in close proximity is on. Traffic variety, ultra, generic. Uh, yeah, so everything's like it should be. Thank you, Metal Ann. I'm about to wrap things up anyways. I appreciate it. Yeah, so it should be working. I don't know what's up. But anyways, let me get some screenshots anyways of all of us. Thank you, everybody, for flying along. And stick around for the raid uh, if you can. I know it's late. It's late for me. Thank you so much, Metal yeah, Ann. You're a sweetheart. Yeah, welcome to Mackay, everybody. Um, should have a bit more interesting stream on the next leg, um, which will be uh, looking around the um, uh, the islands just off the coast here. It's very, very nice. The glorious yes. Whitsunday Islands. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, the next few streams. And uh, yeah, uh, GIPS, it does. From a repair, diagnosis and repair, it, it changes from mechanical, which is still some mechanical, to more of a diagnostic and programming and, and stuff like that. It's really, really weird times that we're living in. Really, really interesting. Not, not really so much weird as the interesting times that we're living in. So, at the end of every scene steam at the end of every stream i go through and thank everybody who participated in stream uh with the follows with gifts with bits subs um the raids and we had a ton of raids tonight so let me work through this list y'all stick around we'll find someone to raid momentarily uh, but first of all metal and thank you so much for the amazing raid i appreciate it my old friend good to see you Patty Football, thank you for the follow. Elixism, thank you for the follow. Uh, Dave Rendon, thank you for the resub. Cry and Hide with a follow. Yeeters, McSkeeters with a follow. Neil, TV8 with a follow. Uh, JC Cattle Company, thank you for the follow. Boozy Sheep, thank you for the follow. Bush Outfitters, also coming in with a... Uh, Gyps, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Bush Outfitters, thank you for the raid. Also, uh, Them's My Shoes with a follow. Original Godspeed with a follow. Rob Valkyrie with a follow. Melvin Leroy with a raid. Gyps with a follow. Dude Fly Now with a follow. I'll see Holden Fan with a follow. Flights with Joel, thank you for the raid. This goes to 200 biddies in 824M Pilot. Thank you for the follow. And 8033 Fox, thank you for the raid. 
Viper with a follow, Boz with a follow, Caramel with a follow, Andy R with a follow, King Cobra A320B 737. Wow, a lot of stuff. Thank you so, so much for the support. It's very awesome. Uh, yeah, let's see who we're going to raid. I was going to raid Moose, but I see he's doing uh, karaoke. Okay, Shana Waz, thank you for the follow. Also, I appreciate that. I do have a Discord channel. Yes, I do. Let me uh, post my Discord link. Uh, please, I, I, if you want to if you want to keep up with me, uh, there's my Discord link. Oh, Bill Mays is streaming. Yeah, we'll raid Bill. Bill's a good guy. Who just gave me... Mongo, thank you for the 100 minis. I appreciate that. Not me typing in the wrong place that we're going to raid Bill Mays. Sheesh. All right, let's get this raid set up. Y'all stick around just for a minute. We'll raid uh, Bill Mays. And then... Okay, good night, everyone. See you all next time. Oz, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for all you do. All right, there we go. So we got the raid going. Um, oh, you got the walk on the wings of the 747-307. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. All right, so we're going to raid uh, Bill Mays. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. Have a good night. Whatever time of the day or night it is for you. Have a wonderful one. I wish you safe flying. And I'll see you all on Thursday evening. Thursday evening. At uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Midnight Zulu. Take care, everybody. Let's uh, get this raid going. See you soon. I'm going to bed. I got to get some rest. Take care. Let's oh, raid messages. Sheesh. I forgot the raid messages. Really quick. If you're a sub, this is your raid message. If you're not a sub, this is your raid message. Post those messages up in Bill's channel. Let's go. See ya, Patty. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. And here we go. Let's start the raid. See y'all. Take care.